All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini series of Northern Springs, where today we are right where we left off in the last episode here at this military checkpoint after having dispatched some of those horrible robots. And uh, yeah, now we are on our way to Cheshire Pond to check out a vault and actually make some quest progress. In this mod, I am so excited about that purely because it's took us a while to get here, but we're here and now we can fight. And I am going to shoot that wild mongrel in the distance. Get him! Ah, that didn't work. Oh, damn colliders. And now there we are. He's down. Excellent. Let's roll. No, there's actually some more red over there. He must have had a few friends. Well, reload. Reload. Also, ooh, hello, Protectron with shotgun shells. Oh, oh, hi, Mongrel. That ah, didn't work. Let's try again. That ah, didn't work either. I can't really shoot through that fence, can I? Well, I no longer care about these mongrels. <laughs> They'll find their way to me eventually. Oh, there's one. And fire. Ooh, that's that's a uh, that's a legendary one. Okay, go for the headshot. Boom. Down he goes. Take that, legendary glowing mongrel. Alright. Well, now let's just start heading towards Cheshire Pond, though. Ah, oh, god, I kind of want- Ow! I forgot about the other mongrel! <laughs> okay, there we go. Down, down goes the other mongrel. As I was saying, I'm debating a bit whether we grab some of these other waypoints near here. Or just beeline it straight to the uh, to the pond. Let's check in here first though for any potential ammo. What sort of military checkpoint is this? Alright, let's roll. Now, well, uh, might as well grab the waypoints over here. I mean we got a little raider thing there. Some sort of thing over there. Ooh, that's a that's a brotherhood flag. Well, we're not walking over that way. I really don't feel like pissing off the brotherhood right now because they've got a lot of guns and yeah, I think that's the that's the decision maker there. Let's beeline it for Cheshire Pond. Uh, oh, but we're so close to this. Okay, you know what? Let's grab this waypoint, that waypoint, and then Cheshire Pond. Oh God, mushrooms. That's a blood bug. I was more afraid of any of the potential nuclear mushroom mines, but all right, all right. Let's see what we got over here. What in the world is this location? Looks like a diner. Let's roll around to the other side. Oh, feral ghouls! Yeah, they found us. Well, they're... Nope, that one's attacking. All right, they are actually attacking now. Oh, there's a lot of them. Why can't I target that one? There we go. Beautiful. Alright. And boom. That did nothing. There we go. They're dead. Lovely. Yep, missed him. Well. They're actually doing a pretty good job on their own. Good work, guys. Ah, I don't even know why I tried. <laughs> Eat shit. All right. Oh, no, you know what? He's got it. He's got it. You can do it, Quentin. He did it. Good job. All right, let's get this location. William Stop and Grub. Nice. All right, we got some sort of a raidery thing over here. Anything... I don't know why I keep going back to the lever action here. That's just a gun I really don't use too often. Well, let's get this waypoint, and then we'll head to the pond. I'm not actually seeing any raid. Oh, hi! Attack dog and raider waster. Yep, we're cautioned! And... And I missed. Why do I keep trying to shoot through fences? It just... it just never goes well for me. Hey, I actually shot someone that time! There we go, he's down. Let's 
Let's move to a better gun. Uh, yeah, haven't played with you in a while. Ah, guys behind that. Hello! Ow, he moved! Now he's dead. Oh, wow, someone, uh... Oh, that's gonna explode. Quentin, run! Run, you fool! Well, it hasn't exploded yet. But I'm gonna give it a wide berth. There we are. I don't need to be exploded today. That would be bad. There it goes! And Relentless Raiders. We got the waypoint. Perfect. Alright, let's roll. Let's head for this, uh... I'm assuming this is the direction we need to go? At least I hope it is. Otherwise, we're gonna have to travel all the way around there. But let's, let's, uh, let's do this. And... What do we got? Ooh, I actually see a vault thing on the... What the hell is that? That looks like a thing. That's a thing! Can I shoot him while he's there? Can a little... Oh god, there's two! There was a second! I've made mistakes! Come on, bring it! Except this plasma gun's actually doing really nicely against them. Why did I go for the shell? That was stupid. But, hey, you know what? It worked. There we go. Take that, Mylurks. Ooh, what's that up there? I don't know, but I'm intrigued. And hey, it looks like we've got the pond here. And we have an entrance. Ooh, that's actually a pretty cool looking vault entrance there. Got a lot of turrets though, which is a little worrisome. Let's see if I can get closer and see if that shows them to be friend or foe. Oh, thank God, they're friend, though, wow. <laughs> look at look at that level on that. Oh, boy. <laughs> that is definitely a turret you don't want to screw with. All right, well, let's go up here and check out what we got. Hi, turrets. Please don't annihilate me. I would appreciate it. Ooh, 132. Nope, oh, vault door controls. Oop, why am I looking that way? Oh, is it because of him? I don't know. Uh, 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 ally! Uh, Nicholas Barman, we are allies! And friends, hopefully. Proceed. Hey, we can go in. That still says an ex- Oh, there it goes. Now it says open. Oh, thank crap. We can actually come in here. All right. So, we've made it to Vault 132, huh? Let's see what we got in here. I believe Barman said there was a synth or something to meet here? Which begs the question, what is a synth doing in an old vault with a lot of turrets guarding it? I don't know, but it's probably not a good thing. Alright. Also... Oh, that's kind of cool that it does kind of look like outside instead of just the usual just closed door oh god the music um are we about to fight someone because the music really sounds like game fight music <laughs> just in case I'm gonna load up on all their things take all their ammunition yeah, unless we're about to fight someone, this music seems somewhat out of place. Hmm. Alright, well, let's steal all their things. I'm assuming we have to go down that way, but I am here to steal. Hello, security office. Anything in the desks? I didn't mean to take the folder. Oh, man. i to get that out of my inventory here in a second. Ooh, shotgun shells. Always nice. All right, let's lose that folder real quick before I forget and carry it around for 30 years. And... Oh, no, it'd be in junk, wouldn't it? No? No? Dig it, let's go and... Oh, yeah, there it is. There we are. Drop the folder. Quentin, you're in the way. All right, to the elevator. And talk to whoever's in charge here. 
So I wonder if this is just a synth hiding out in this place or if this is actually like a functioning vault. Hello, Quentin. I always am disturbed when you randomly pop into the area. But hey, I got Nicholas and Quentin here, so yay? Question mark? Hello! So it looks like we actually have a functioning vault. Resident M822T. Okay, so I'm assuming that's who we need to go talk to. Well, everyone else seems like a normal vault person here. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's just beeline up there to the overseer. Yeah. At least I'm assuming the synth is the yeah. overseer. He's in the overseer's office. Yeah. No, who are you? Hey, you have a name. Can we talk? Yeah. No, you just trade. Ooh, you have a lot of caps, though. Holy crap. Huh. I don't really have anything to sell to you. Well, actually, I probably do. I probably have many things I should sell to you. I'll be back. What was your name again? Renee. We'll chat soon. We'll chat soon. All right. Okay, hello, hello, hello M82T. I thought you were dead. Team. I expected the worst had come true. I thought so too, Emmett. I'm sorry for the delay. I ran into some problems along the way, and the weapon is damaged. It's a very long story, but I, I'm very lucky to be alive, and this newcomer managed to retrieve the weapon from the raiders who stole it from you. Yep. So, hi. That got no response. What do you do here? Well, after the Overseer passed, she had passed on the duties to look out for her people in the vault. It's a complicated story, but we're friendly. Okay. And... Did he has a stash? I'm gonna go with the outfit one, though, because... What outfit? He's a... He's just a naked synth with, like, glasses and a hat. So, nice outfit, then. Yes, I stole Elder Maxon's coat. I didn't have the heart to give it back to him. Okay. He's not wearing a coat. And you have a stash. I mean, did he? I don't remember one on his ah, face. Yes. Oh, I yep, there it is. With the rest of the people here. Not to be so behind the times, if you get what I mean. Why is he doing but um This weapon is useless without its proper components in working condition. I know. I'm terribly sorry. It nearly killed me. Is there anything I can do to help? Hmm. Well, the components I need you to find are a fusion stabilizer, a Tesseract grid compressor, and a gamma drive. I'm about to get a fetch quest, aren't I? Although, as you can see, Northern Springs is not exactly very abundant with technology. So, I'll have to have you go back into the Commonwealth. Son Understood, Emmett. of... Let me think of What's this for? Well, I currently can't tell you right now, as my data access logs have been flagged as highly classified. My programming just doesn't let me. Okay. I guess I'll do it. Right. It won't get you done otherwise. The for me. That's great. Is it though? Since these Is components it? are built using Institute technology, I have developed a way to easier locate them using this tracking device. Basically, if I need anything of use, I attach this to the computer's mainframe, and voila. I'll upload the data into your Pip-Boy now. It's already located one in the Polymer Labs, one in Fort Hagen, and one in the Mass Fusion Building. I'd go with you myself, but I cannot step foot outside of this vault. I have to remain low-key. Why? What you I'm thinking about? I mean, I know you're a synth and all, but I'm, I'm sort of in charge of the Institute, so I know you're here now. Can we talk? Ooh, we can talk. Or not, he won't seem to talk. Oh, lovely, can't talk. How about you? Whoa, hi, Barman, uh, Barman. Um, question. And what question? Nothing's happening. Well, that was informative. <laughs> Let's steal all this stuff. Nah, it's red. Is all of his things gonna be red? Let's check his quarters. Ew, fusion cells. Nice. Nice. More shotgun shells. Yeah, nothing fun in the bathroom worth stealing. 
Ooh, man's a computer. Let's see if there's anything fun on that. Hey, we can actually use it. Supply requests. Here's some set fulfilled mute fruit crates, Brahmin steaks, stim packs, blood packs, fusion cores. Pending. Maintenance requests. Second floor atrium vent. Vent has been leaking. Need to investigate shaft for integrity. May need to replace bad section, but hopefully you can get by with a patch job. Main level corridor. Pipes are suffering from corrosion. Needs welding and sealant. Section of flooring may need to be replaced. We'll need to take a closer look behind the scenes to investigate the extent of the damage. And entry. Sealant must be giving way to concrete base as water is building up among wiring in the floor. Need to find a solution for resealing the water removal. Okay, and logs. What do we got? Alright, repairs, repairs, repairs! If one more thing in this vault breaks, I'm going to scream, and by scream, I mean angrily slam the keys to this terminal as I enter in yet another frustrated log. No one told me when I took over for Overseer Bot that I was inheriting a sinking ship. From what Calvin tells me, the damage isn't even coming from us in our everyday lives. It's something external. And of course, since it's external, it's harder for him to access the overall, or assess rather, the overall damage. We can't very well just unbury the vault. On the good side, the reactor continues to run without a hitch. Two centuries and not a single incident that old Rusty couldn't handle. So, while the walls around us crumble, at least we'll have good lighting to witness it. Alright, the Anti-Commonwealth. Once again, I overheard a citizen telling one of uh, the traitors how much we don't need them. What is wrong with these people? Holt, Miranda, don't they realize that without these traitors we'd be starving? We wouldn't have half the items. We need to get repairs done around here. I get the fear to allow outsiders in. I was terrified when we first opened the vault after two centuries of isolation. But you'd think after ten years people would be more accepting and trust the faces we've grown to know so well. Some people still don't accept Horatio and that man's lived with us for years now. And sure, I don't know what could happen in the future. Maybe it's just a matter of time before we allow the wrong person in, but it's a chance we have to take and a change they need to accept if we're going to survive for another generation. All right. Bobby DeLuca. How hard can it be to catch Bobby DeLuca doing drugs? The vault is only so big, there's only so many places he can hide, and yet here I am getting another complaint about his little habit. It's frustrating on so many levels. Everyone's working hard, almost round the clock, and here's Bobby. He sleeps on the job, a job that he can't even do, by the way. He gets old Rusty to do everything. If he's not high, he's drunk. His sister backs up every story he comes up with. The list goes on. Part of me just wants to lock him up, post a guard, and be done with it. Let him suffer through the withdrawal as his punishment. We all know he deserves it. And food, glorious food. Priscilla informed me that she lost the latest carrot crop. Oh no. I wish we had the space to do more consistent rotations on the bright side. While we'll miss the carrots now, we'll be even happier once they're back. I'll never forget the day when Maria made her first Brahmin meat pie. I thought I was in heaven and that I'd never eat another steak in a box again. Against Dr. Forsythe's wishes, I might add. Wasn't long before I'd had my fill and found myself enjoying that same old Salisbury steak. On the bright side, Maria's mood fruit pies are consistently good, although it's hard to go wrong when it comes to dessert. It helps that she likes to save them for special occasions, probably. Smart on her part. She's been our chef long enough to know how easily our taste buds give out on us. All right, well, some interesting little flavor text there. Nothing really informative. I would have liked to have known how he became the head of this vault. Can we talk now? No, he still won't talk. All right, well, let's go downstairs and see if we can talk with any more citizens of this vault. You're just a merchant. See if we can find... Yeah. Oh, God, you guys. You, are you? No, can't huh? talk. Nothing, nothing here. All right, good, good, good. Okay, yeah. downstairs. We got a Mr. Handy. There. Hi, can we good talk? No, nope, you just say good day. Resident, oh. resident, yeah. resident. Yes. Resident. Lavatory. Small lavatory. This is a very small vault. 
All right, what do we got over here? A door I can't open. And another door I can't open. Okay, we can't really do anything in this vault. Well. Huh. Well, we finally have made progress in this quest line, but unfortunately, that progress leads us back to the Commonwealth. I'm not actually very happy about that. I was hoping to stay in, you know, Northern Springs, the whole reason we're here. So I'm actually gonna ask you guys a question. Do you want me to find these parts off camera and come back? I would, because I mean, I'm just gonna try and plow through these anyways, just to grab these three components real quick. Thankfully, I have all the locations, so it shouldn't be too hard. But yeah, what do you guys think? Actually do them on camera or just have me grab the components and come back to uh, here to see what in the world happens with them. Uh, you guys, uh, tell me what you'd like to see. But uh, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed and that you do come back for the next win. We'll be doing something. But until then, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.